Hey, good morning, good morning, everyone. I got a word to share with you to encourage, encourage your heart this morning. I, I hope it does like it did mine when I read it this morning here. And, it, and it's out of Psalm 60. And I encourage you to read the whole 12, all 12 verses if you get a chance. We're going to focus on 11, verse 11 and 12 today. And, you know, in this, um, in this psalm, King David is, you know, is speaking here. And, and the theme of this is how he talks about how our, our help, our real help, comes from God alone and when a situation seems out of control we can trust God is in control and that he will do mighty things in and through our situation here and then and, and the verses read oh please help us against our enemies for our all human help is useless with God's help we can do mighty things and he will trample down our foes um, <clears throat> you know the truth is guys there is so much uncertainty in this world right now and and I think we're all experiencing something some circumstance from this coronavirus I mean it could be your job has been affected which of course could affect your finances um, could be someone you know or love has the coronavirus uh, just the fear of getting it I mean there's just so much we are truly being tested. Our faith is being tested right now. And Psalm 60 shares <clears throat> a light on how the children of God in the past have responded to hardship in times of testing. And it really gives us a blueprint on how we can respond now as followers of Christ. Like all of us, you know, difficult circumstances come into our life. Some of them are self-inflicted. Some of them God allows to happen, and some of them are just a, a byproduct of living in this fallen world. <clears throat> but we all must recognize with our spiritual mind that God never judges us on what comes into our lives, only how we respond to us. He is wanting to strengthen our faith and our reliance to, on Him and to sanctify us and make us holy, to make us more like Jesus. Now is the critical point for the spirit-filled man or woman of God when facing the hard circumstances of life to know that if we are to overcome them, we must have our faith and confidence placed in God and not in man or the circumstances around us. You know, cause, because only God is faithful at all times, in all ways and in all things, to deliver us through the storm. Confidence in God is developed when we trust Him at the extreme degree of our life with all that we have. He will take us through that storm, allowing us to know with certainty God will do what He promised. When God provides the victory, our confidence in His promised help of intervention will soar to the absolute limit. You know, I love how David never panics out of fear or doubt since he knew with absolute confidence that God would help him no matter what. And confidence is built into us when we simply trust God at His Word, obey His will, and experience His victory in our lives. We have to always remember the roadmap to absolute confidence and peaceful assurance resting is resting in the arms of God. When this happens, time and time again, your confidence God in God, in God will not waver and grow weak. You know, we all must get to the tipping point of our faith. Realize when we practice Hebrews 13, 6 in our thinking and in our doing, as it reads, so with confidence, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? It doesn't matter where we are in life, guys. Our God. Will see us through anything and all things. Well, guys, 
Just a quick word to encourage you. I hope it does speak to your heart like it does mine. If it does, please share this video. I hope you have an amazing day. Know that I love you guys, and I'm praying.